Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity, upper right-hand corner. We have Ultra from Team Soul from Chile, bottom right-hand corner. Also, I believe also from Team Soul, Lancer X, aka Maharaja. We have not, I have not seen any evidence that Lancer has participated in BSL before, so he's going to be participating this season. We'll see where he ends up in round of eight appearance for Ultra last season. <clears throat> and I believe, spoilers, there have already been some groups played, and I think Ultra was already in those groups. I'm not going to say one way or the other because I want you guys to go watch those games because I think those games were pretty fun up to this stage. This is once again going to be on Revolver, another PVT. And I have a feeling that this matchup in particular, PVT, is going to be just exciting to watch on Revolver in this upcoming season of BSL. I'm, I'm particularly interested to see what happens in Chobo League. <laughs> so we'll have to see. Uh, if you guys are wondering where to see the official games, if you go to ZZZ Euro... PL. Uh, you can see Zero himself who organized, he's the head organizer for all of BSL special out, uh, shout out to him, really keeping Brood War alive. Also I feel like the you've got Rust Brain and the Esports Fund who, ah shoot, realizing I don't have those tags up for this. That's okay because this, this is Continental Wars and I don't think it's an official match. <laughs> but special thanks to Esports Fund as well as uh, yeah, all the official sponsors. Be sure to support them, BSL officially, on Patreon um, if you aren't already. Looks like we are going to see an initial scout form Lancer X in the upper right corner. We are seeing a, a barracks being produced kind of in a def more defensive slot uh, for the zealot. Kind of be able to run in between to deal with those zealots. Looks like a refinery being grabbed as well. Probe making up into the base. Should be able to do some harassment. Gateway warping in. Are we going to see an initial zealot? This is a, this is a decent distance to... To, to walk, but we are going to go ahead and see Initial Zealot in production. This probe going to try to harass that SEV. If any amount of delay you can get on this barracks, particularly if you can get a Zealot out towards the front, is absolutely golden. And is he going to get it? It's going to it's going to be close. So that SEV now moving to the north. That barracks does finish. First Marine being produced. Probe walking in that line to get some disruption. It looks like we are going to see an Initial Scout from Ultra. To the bottom right as well. Now the decisions between the Zealot, does he go for... No, not able to get the SCV block. He's just going to go ahead and march up to the north. Assimilator warping in, sim, uh, cybernetic score as well. A second Zealot is being manufactured. And uh, only a single SCV on gas as far as a follow-up. Factory already in production. The probe not in position to go ahead and harass that SCV. Still having to deal with that Marine. Getting a little bit of damage there. <clears throat> Let's see if he can swing around to the ramp and assist this Zealot. So, actually with this factory location, I'm wondering if these Marines are going to be able to defend against that Zealot, slowing that factory down. Because sometimes what can end up happening, so now they're pulling off. One SCV, nope, still building it. As you can see, yeah, they're trying to retreat back to that protective north, but they're not quite, they, they're in position to go ahead and take that probe out, but they're not quite in position, and that's forcing two additional SCVs to defend, it looks like. And that Zealot now going to go ahead and back off, but this is a decent amount of lost mining time. That Zealot still survives. Second Zealot walking up as well. Four Marines on the front. Factory finishes. Are we going to see initial Vulture? Yeah, initial Vulture to go ahead and defend against these Zealots. The Zealot's still trying to march in. That's going to cost one of them their lives. The Dragoon now in production, bottom right-hand corner. It looks like that SCV is still able to get the scouting information. Critically seeing that cybernetic score uh, whirl. But with this initial Vulture, Ultra should feel comfortable, yeah, going ahead and marching out, getting that bunker down, and taking his natural expansion. This SCV is going to try to glean what information he can. Right now, as things look, it looks like Lancer is going to go ahead and grab his natural expansion as far as a follow-up. So it's going to end up being a little bit later, however. I always love seeing like the SCVs when you know they've clicked on minerals and they just go straight through the, the eggs right there. So command center being built. Nexus is up. This is going to be... So I feel like Ultra in a really strong position. He's got those Marines uh, defended. He can go ahead. It looks like he's wandering out to the north. Just to make sure he's not... I assume this is just to check for proxy tech. A Vulture managing to get in as well. Getting one probe kill. And especially at early stages, that can be... Even getting that initial probe kill is a significant disruption. Range being upgraded, it looks like he... I think with that Vulture, he also saw the fact that it was one gate robo. So, playing very thin, very greedy. 
not sure if I, I'm not sure I want to call this greedy. This is more like standard. It's kind of standard on the economic side of things. Second gateway plop down. Now the question is, is does Leinster just go for observers and go for, uh, move more towards third? Or is he going to go for drop? I feel like Reavers have to play a big factor on this map just because Terran can just be so contained. This natural expansion, so easy to defend once you have siege tech kind of on that corner and it takes so long to get units around from that northern section. We are seeing an armory plop down for Ultra to potentially move towards what level one weapons. And I actually like what Ultra's doing, knowing that that natural expansion is easier to defend and you can do it with just a fewer grouping of siege tanks. He's actually just sticking on a single factory. Uh, just sticking on a single factory and producing units out of that while he continues to tech up and get that economy rolling. Second assimilator being dropped from Lancer. He has opted for shuttle speed. Building this initial shuttle, it looks like he is wanting to uh, yeah, go for, for potential reavers. Sealing up a little bit on his front just in case some vultures are going to do any sort of sneak by. Second factory being plopped down. The one thing yeah, that I do think Terran need to be concerned about is having sufficient siege tanks. This is the other reason I like just the single machine shop and they're just pumping the siege tanks and actually getting a Goliath as well. So Ultra really already feeling the meta of this map. Going to go ahead and get a Goliath out to help deal with that initial shuttle. Try to shut down any sort of harassment that can happen. Keep in mind it is a speed shuttle though that is going to be in play. Observatory also warping down. Lancer not really making any moves towards grabbing a third. So currently it is two base Terran versus two base Protoss. And assuming that... That puts additional pressure on this Reaver, especially with the Speed Shuttle investment, to get something accomplished. Now, are we going to see even like a second Goliath? Looks like, yeah, we're seeing a second Goliath with range upgrade to go ahead and swat that potential attack down. So Shuttle with a Reaver and a single Zealot to try to get something accomplished. And Lancer needs something accomplished out of this. Looks like a, two Zealots. I'm wondering if he's going to try to swing in from this um, upper corner. Eggs on the lower... On the upper ramp, I should say. On the ramp leading the natural expansion being opened up. Comsat being dropped. Two additional factories being plopped down. And I also wonder if Ultra is going to try to follow this up with that uh, 9 minute-ish, 9.30 timing attack. We'll see. Engineering Bay being built. It's a bit behind. Dragoon's testing that front door. I'm wondering if this is just a distraction. And unfortunately, that shuttle walking right into that initial Goliath... The Reaver trying to make its way to the natural. It's finding, oof, all sorts of units. And he's just going to go for a bus. Try to take that siege tank. The SCV's plugging that line. Seeing all of those siege tanks to the north. The SCV's group preparing on that bunker. And this initially getting rejected. So a nice try on a bus right there. But now Ultra, with that shuttle down, just going to reinforce with the siege tanks to that natural expansion. Also able to take out that observer overhead. So nothing going right for Lancer thus far. He's going to go ahead and try to grab his 5 o'clock base behind this. So this is going to be... So this is going to be, and there's that fifth factory being plopped down. Yeah, I do believe we are going to see um, a follow-up of, yeah, vultures and siege tanks grouping up once level one weapons finishes. Right around close to the nine, I think 915 is like the fastest you can execute it. Something around there. Usually like 915, 930 mark, somewhere around there. Another observer moving up into position. <clears throat> And I don't know that Lancer is going to be, that he's going to have enough, especially with that initial Reaver investment, that he's going to have enough troops to just flat out defend this. He's got seven Dragoons out right now. He's still sitting on two gateways. He has another Reaver, but yet not another shuttle. He's trying to plop down additional gateways. I think in a rush to go ahead and deal with this. I like that he's bringing these Dragoons to the north to potentially kind of throw in a counterattack. Ultra actually bringing a lot of these troops up just in case there was another. This is interesting. I wonder if he scouted. These troops to the north, he's kind of bringing them defensively. He's maybe worried about, uh, maybe worried about another drop attempt. Level one weapons is finished on his side. Looks like he's working on vulture speed, and he's actually plopping down two additional factories on top of this to go up to a full count of seven. So rather than going at the nine minute thirty mark, it looks like he's going to delay just a little bit. Wait for these factories to go up and just kind of do a, an overwhelming, two base flood, of mech units onto his opponent, but he's waiting for that Vulture upgrade uh, to follow this up. So coming at the 10 minute mark, I still don't think it's going to be that there's going to be a sufficient economy from Lancer to go ahead and defend this. Just now building a shuttle, so he will potentially have a shuttle to provide some defense, but 
I don't know. We'll see. Could... Now, here's the thing. With the map features and also with a potential counterattack from the north to provide a bit of distraction, it is possible that this will still play out. Also, keep in mind, this is a difficult reinforcement line because you do have, like, these eggs that need to be taken care of ahead of time. And actually seeing those eggs go down, it looks like Lancer doesn't have anything in position to really spot that. But point being, it's difficult to kind of get out on the map to do some of these timing pushes. Ultra now moving out. Slowly making his way. Is he just going to go ahead and establish? I wasn't expecting him to just establish map position, but he's moving very much out to the middle of the map before proceeding down. The Reaver's there. Tank's not siege. Now sieging up. Nice Reaver shot on the left side group, but I just think this might be too much mech. The Dragoon's continuing to get assaulted. Some Zealots trying to reinforce. But it looks like the Zealots with the reinforcement able to get on top of those backline siege tanks, swatting this attack down. The Zealot reinforcements being sufficient to overwhelm everything that Ultra is fielding. So now all of a sudden, some mines being placed, but Ultra attack just absolutely getting annihilated, and he is nowhere in position to go ahead and grab this uh, third base, sneaking some vultures out. Lancerek does have some cannons to the south, but it looks like he's only got a single cannon, one probe down. Looks like more probes are going to get taken out, some dragoons moving in location to go ahead and try to keep the bleeding probes to a minimum. I do believe Lancer's in a position where he might be able to go ahead and grab an additional base, or I don't know if he is going to opt to do that or just continue to... It looks like Ultra, not being swayed at all, is just going to continue to press another attack up. He's got a lot of mines planted in the middle, but only two siege tanks. Sorry, three siege tanks. Two SCVs following this up to try to deal with this. And this is a lot of gateways here in the background and a lot of troops on the ground. Lancer now moving forward, trying to get a mine drag, not quite able to do so. I don't see a shuttle in the midst of this. So Ultra, with his positioning, it looks like he's starting to walk into that natural expansion. And getting some turrets looks like on that low ground. Some High Templar here. I believe those have Psy Storm. This, is, this would be some beautiful Psy Storm opportunity. That third base is kicked in. The Vulture is now going to go ahead and try to sneak to the 6 o'clock location to maybe flood and take out the probes there and cut off reinforcements. And Ultra kind of slow playing this forward. He wants to go ahead and get some siege tanks in position to cut off reinforcements and then cut off that third and play the game from there. Siege tanks on that low, on that low gap line. I like the High Templar being here. The Vulture's trying to sneak forward and pick that High Templar off, not able to do so. The Zealots making their way across. The Observer on top of all of this. The Dragoon's doing a good job of staying out of Siege Tank Fire, just kind of... Uh, Vulture able to pick off that High Templar. The Zealots now moving in. It looks like they're going to be able to get on top of the Siege Tanks, and I think Ultra just overextended. And I think these Zealots are going to be able to swarm from the left to the right and clear everything up. We'll see. Turret's certainly getting taken out. More reinforcements, more Siege Tanks, more Goliaths moving in. And the Dragoon's getting exposed against some very well-staggered Siege Tanks and Vulture reinforcements. The Dragoon's trying to get on the low ground from the right, but they're getting plastered. Still no Psy Storm I've seen, but honestly, there's really good tank spread, so there's a Psy Storm on that back line. Great! Catching the one bunch of the Terran units there. However, there's not enough bulk of Protoss units otherwise to defend this. The Dragoon's and Vultures... Sorry, the Vultures and Goliaths Moving into that natural expansion now. Starting to plant mines and seal that up. Let's see if the siege tanks are able to go and reinforce. The Dragoon's having trouble because those eggs have not been taken care of. To group up and get into this natural expansion. So it looks like Ultra might have done it. We'll see. Some Zelts trying to engage from that right. There is a shuttle right there. But the Dragoons that are being plopped out of it instantly getting plastered. Zelts stalwart standing there just eating the mine fire. It's going to be up to this Reaver. Shuttle taking some turret fire. It looks like he is going to be able to take out a single siege tank. Other tanks unseaged. And it looks like Lancer, despite losing probes and some additional territory, able to shove this army back. More mines clearing out Dragoons, but there's only a single siege tank left. The Dragoon just barely getting wiped out. Ultra's all in on this drop. Or sorry, on this tech push. 
at this stage. He does have level 1 armor at this stage of things. Single Zealot trying to drop on top of that Siege Tank. They're going to be able to wipe that out. Scooping right back up. Nice bit of micro there. But Lancer starting to reinforce. Did end up losing some probes. He's behind actually overall, but keep in mind he's at two bases rather than just the three. The Vulture is now trying to sneak into the six o'clock location. Ultra really testing Lancer's ability to defend multiple locations on this map. Shuttle moving up. Goliath there to try to deal with it. Looks like that Vulture was taken out. The Shuttle taken out. Once each tank down, but now it looks like it's just six Goliath, or sorry, six Dragoons. Keep doing that. To try to defend against a large, beefy mech force. Camped right outside. Level one weapons is there. Level one armor and level two weapons are on the way for Lancer, but it's a ways off. And he's got a lot of ground to protect between here and there. Mind drag into the vultures. Looks like that's going to clear that out. Ultra still pressing this in. Siege tanks on the low ground. With vision between the mines and the vultures, able to do some clearance there. It looks like a probe managed to sneak out someplace to potentially take an additional base. And Ultra still no indications of grabbing anything additional. Just wants to get it done on this alone. Some High Templar able to sneak out to the north with that Reaver. Siege tanks and Goliaths now pressing into that three o'clock, or sorry, that third base at the six o'clock. Starting to sail that. Some side storm from the north as Lancer X sweeping out. But it looks like the Vultures might be able, yeah, should be able to wipe out the High Templar that are there before they're able to critically get to that staggered siege tank lying to the left. Did Ultra do it? Two bases still running. The Zealots trying to get something accomplished to the right. A shuttle that is empty wandering up. And I see no units currently for Lancer to try to protect this 5 o'clock base. It looks like Ultra has managed to establish a potential death grip. A Dragoon dropping. Great Mind Dragon to two more siege tanks. Keep in mind, Ultra's got to get it done now. His main is mined out. So he's got to do it with what he has on the ground. Six o'clock base has been covered. More units marching into the north to clear out the additional turrets here. That probe might be an X factor in that bottom left. It could somehow sneak a base. I take it back Lan or behind this Ultra at some point grabbed his third to stay at two mining bases. And I think Ultra's got it with that additional base. Yeah, there's GG with that third base down Ultra Pressing that natural expansion, a relentless mech push. Well played from Ultra. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Look for both of these players in BSL Season 13. I believe, I'm trying to think what group Ultra's in. I think he might be in Group B. But Group A and Group B have already played. They're as far as the Pro League, it's being played now. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.